for the Bucks. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. From a couple yards deep. And all oh, deep in his own territory. He coughs up the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And he will score. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A great play there. Taking it in. And the Bucs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And that's got to be so disappointing for a defense. You, know, you force the fumble, think you got a chance at a turnover, and instead, not only do you give up the football, you also give up a touchdown as well. Yeah, you just think to yourself, you've done all the hard work, right? You force the fumble, but when they didn't come up with it, I think they relaxed a little bit or maybe lost their focus as well and it ended up turning out to be a touchdown against them. And they won't be able to run another play. Time has expired on this third quarter. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. This fielded right at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Carr. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Bucs are going to take over with excellent field position to boot. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 90 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. Nope. And he holds it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Andre Johnson. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bucs have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And here comes a return. From, and he loses the football a second time. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they will set up shop with outstanding field position in the red zone at the 17-yard line. And we'll see if the defense wants to stop it as they take the knee. A second and 11 from the 19. Let's go, let's go. Now they're going to throw it here with Vic. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Kyle Pitts, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that'll increase their lead to 28.
Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Taken at the goal line. And oh my goodness, he loses it again. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And that should... Just about do it. They return it to the end zone, sealing it with a defensive touchdown. So they get the one score, kick off, get a fumble, take it right back to the house. <laughs> Two quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout. Butker now to add the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one as he's tackled at the 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Now, the first play of the drive there is incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game. And that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Marcel Aitman, the intended target, but it's going to be second down. Now Carr again. And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. Henry Ruggs, the intended receiver. And it's third down. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking. And trying to get it to Ruggs, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for a Buccaneer TD. Defensively, they've had their way in this one. That pick six makes that scoreboard even more lopsided. 